Good afternoon, Pokemon friends, and welcome to a new week of Pokemon Throwback Challenges. Today is the start of the best one, the most anticipated one, the Throwback Challenge Champion event, where we get to hunt down the brand new Unova Region Pokemon. I'm so excited and so very much looking forward to this event. This is what we know from the blog so far. The Gala Region Pokemon will make their debut in Pokemon Go. We will need to complete four sets of tasks in the special research and we will be able to encounter Galarian Meowth, Stunfish and Gensex. So some super cool Pokemon to get through those research tasks and also, if you don't have a ticket or you didn't complete all of the previous throwback research tasks, all trainers will be able to look for Galarian Stunfisk in the wild, 7 kilometer eggs will be hatching Galarian Meowth, Zigzagoon and Daramaraka, as well as you'll be able to evolve the Meowth, the Zigzagoon and Daramaraka. So, this is a pretty exciting time for trainers everywhere. I cannot wait for it to tick over to one o'clock and get straight into the new research. Okie dokie, pokey peeps. We have driven into a fresh park in town and it is a beautiful day. Little bit windy, but we have golden sunshine and this lovely lush green park to hunt down these new Pokemon. So on my screen, I have the brand new Galarian Stun Fist to find. Looks like they're going to be everywhere. I have three popping up, super excited. Can't wait to show you the first one of those. And the first task, set of tasks for the throwback challenge include making 15 great throws, catching 15 Pokemon, and transferring 15 Pokemon. So 15 great throws, my goodness, we better get practicing those right now. Ah, here it is, my first Galarian Stunfisk. Oh my goodness, it's kind of cute. Oh, and we're hatching an egg. Oh, okay, egg time then. Unexpected. Better put that screen recording on. Ta-da! An Eevee. Ah, cutie. All right, let's get back to the stun fist. Oh my gosh, there it is. So it's this charcoal looking color with little green, like flowers or leaves or footprints and the iconic little Pokeball style nose, I guess. Ah, cool. I am going to give this guy an Ultra Ball and let's risk it for the biscuit with a pineapp berry. I've only caught one of these before now. Come on, come on, get in the ball, get in the ball, get in the ball. Yes, okay, that's my first one. Nice, nice, and a praise. Oh, it's one star, but it has no attack and 14 defense and 14 HP. That might actually be a PvP little Pokemon, not bad indeed. I've done nine of the 15 great throws, so six more to go. Don't take these great throws lightly, guys. They're just a little bit tricky. However, this is the throwback champion challenge, so we need to pull out our best throwing ball ability for this one. My 15 throws are finished, so let's claim these first lot of rewards. Claiming my incense, 30 ultra balls, First mysterious Pokemon is. It is, it is, it is coming. Ah, oh, there we go. A wild Galarian Meowth. Ball wiggles. Stay in the ball. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yes, in the ball. Yes. Lovely. Meowth was caught. Okay. And appraising you. Three stars. Not bad for a first research Pokemon. Good job. And claiming our big reward now, boom. 500 Stardust, 500 XP, mysterious Pokemon has appeared. Let's go. Oh, a Gothita, nice. 
appraising you 386 is another three star Pokemon. Lovely. And the professor is back. All right, what have you got to say, professor? Wonderful work, trainer. You might be familiar with the tradition in which Pokemon trainer selects their very first partner from a group of three Pokemon. The first partner Pokemon are normally fire, water, and grass types. In Unova, many trainers choose the water type Oshawott as their first partner Pokemon. This sea otter Pokemon is known to use the Scalchop on its stomach during battle. Isn't that just adorable? Please continue your research and let me know your findings. Yes, Professor, we shall continue the research with Evolve 5 Pokemon, Hatch 15 eggs, my goodness, and win 15 raids? Holy moly, that is a lot of raids to do. My goodness. We better go hunt down some of those raids and pop on a whole rack of eggs to hatch, or it could take us a really long time to get through this. I got 47 seconds. Ah! Okay, so I have found my first raid, a clink raid. Can I can do this by myself. Boom, am I getting in, am I getting in? Maybe, maybe, yes! I am using a remote raid pass to get through this one or to get entry into this raid. And I'm taking in Flygon, Torterra, my Machop, another Flygon, Reshiram, and a Rhyperia. This little clinky baby doesn't stand a chance. Mm -mm, not at all. <laughs> cool, so this will be raid number one. Number one, son, getting it done. Can I get a shiny? Shiny! Shiny hopeful. Bonus challenge time. Boop. Not shiny. And it is CP514. Yes! First ball, first throw. That's what I like. I need to power through these raids to get them all done. Okay, and a quick appraise. Two star. Trady Town for this little clink. Looks like an Alolan Raichu has hatched, so I think I'm gonna head over and do that one next. Revealing my Raichu, come on, a little chalky surfboard rider? No, no chalky surfboard rider for me, $15.99. We have found a Chiragonal raid, so this little baby could be good. Did you guys get one back last December of any decent sort of IVs? I did not, no surprise, but I was really lucky that Maddie actually lucky traded me his entire haul, his entire Chiragonal collection, and the very, very last one turned lucky. So I have one good, IV version of this Pokemon already, but I'm super pleased to see it's back in raids for everybody else to have a go at getting. This raid is actually a three-star raid, so unless you have pretty high Pokemon, you might need an extra trainer to help you get through it. Appraise. Oh, this is awful. It's a two-star. Yucky. As part of our raids, we have managed to get enough people to do a Reshiram raid. Hopefully I can get a good three-star IV one, a little ice dragon boy. But if you are going to be including Reshiram in your raids for this quest, make sure that you have a minimum of four trainers and take in those rock, ground, and dragon type Pokemon. Reveal time, three, two, one, go, boom. I've got 2839 and 2803. <gasps> no, it ran away. And that might have been my best Reshiram yet. We don't know. Nobody knows. Goodness me, Reshiram, get in the ball next time. Lucky Maddie just caught a shiny lily pup. I clicked all of the lily pups and they weren't shiny for me. Mm. But how many stars? One. One star, but shiny. Good morning, Pokey Peeps. 
I'm back and you know what? 15 raids does take a little bit of time to get through. So I'm going to update you with how I went. I did manage to do a few Reshiram raids last night and now I only need one more raid to move on with my stage two of the throwback challenge research. As for my luck with the Reshiram raids, I did have some good vibes last night. It was also so much harder to catch. I managed to get this 91 IV uh, weather boosted 2281 Reshiram which is pretty Gucci. And then I got one more Reshiram on the 91 IV. So this is my weather booster one, 28.58. Very, very happy that I finally got a nice, ice hot white little dragon buddy. As promised, I did look up my very first stun fist that I caught, my Galarian one for PVP, and it turns out he is good for a great league battle and he is numbered at 271. Not too bad of a little Pokemon haul so far whilst playing this challenge. So today I'm going to head into town. I'm going to look for my 15th raid. I'm going to evolve the five Pokemon to get me up to level two. And I'm going to hatch out five fresh friend eggs that I have just put on right now. Oh my goodness, I've just, I'm, I'm heading out to town and I've just pulled into the car park to get a drink and a shiny, my first shiny Barbotch. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, golden berry. I'm gonna golden berry this little fella and try and get him in an ultra ball. It's not on incense either, guys. So hopefully, hopefully I can secure this little fella. Come on, come on. Okay, let's just boop. Please get in the ball, please get in the ball. Come on, get in the ball. Come on. Yes, it's in the ball. Oh my goodness, this is like the luckiest car park ever, but I'm normally tapping on Maddie's phone. <gasps> okay, quick appraise. Look at him, he's so cute. He does little like swimmy flips. He's just front flippy swimmy fish. <gasps> and he's gold and appraise. <gasps> no stars. Of course no stars, but I don't even care because it's a shiny and I don't have this one. Oh my goodness, yay. We are in town and let me tell you guys, it is a bit fresh. The breeze is really icy. It's making my fingers super cold, but success. I have got six raids available to do. I have had to purchase some remote raiding passes to reach them, but I'm thinking I might do the Mawali raid. And I'm pretty sure being a two-star raid, I should be able to do this one by myself. So in we go. Let's see if anybody else comes in. So for the Mawali, I am taking all of my fire Pokemon because fire melts steel. That's what you will want in your party. And now comes the very long lobby waiting phase. Manamana. Menomena, do 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 do. Menomena, do 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 do. Waiting for my Pokemon to battle this raid. <laughs> Tap time! Yes! Let's go, team! Just me by myself, so let's see if I can solo this. The team is me. <laughs> and me. Oh, you in? <laughs> I didn't even see you pop in. Yeah. I was too busy singing songs. Done! Yes, super quick. Come on, something good. Bonus challenge. Not shiny for me, no. 912 combat power. Shiny for you? No. Good combat power? No. That's not a bad Pokemon to actually get from the raid. So CP 912, pretty close to that hundo if you guys are doing a raid. Anything over. 912 would be what you were looking for. Awesome! We are now ready to claim stage two of the Throwback Challenge Champion Research. Let's get those five rare candies, 10 revives, and mysterious Pokemon number one. Ah, oh, an Oshawott! Cute! Boring. Cute. You think it's boring? <laughs> Honestly, I have already got a one with good IVs, so we'll just see how this one pans out, if it stays in my team. Oh, it's nice! This one is nice! This is a 96 IVs as well. <laughs> okay, I'll keep this one. This one is good. 
claiming the big reward claim 500 stardust 500 xp and waiting waiting loading start encounter our wild Dara Maraca, but it's not the new Galarian form. Ah, I was really hoping it would be the Galarian form so that I could evolve that little baby with you guys. I'm praising this one, please be good, please be good. Nah, nah, yeah, nah, this one's two stars. That's terrible. Hopefully, I have a better IV of this Pokemon hiding in my eggs, which are waiting to hatch. Okie dokie, Professor Time! I can't stop thinking about how cute Oshawott is. Oh, you're back! Excellent work catching that Dara Maraca. Now that we've researched the water types, first partner Pokemon, many trainers from Unova, let's shift focus to the fire type one, Tepic. Cool, stage number three. Make an excellent throw, battle another trainer, 15 times and power up Pokemon 15 times. Holy moly again, Batman. Battle another trainer 15 times, goodness me. So powering up a Pokemon 15 times, that's probably not too difficult. But battling, goodness, I'm going to have to have a little think about how I wanna play that one. I'm up to battling. 15 times with other trainers and it just so happens I have a very friendly trainer. It's me. <laughs> here to do some battles with us. So if you haven't checked out Zoe Two Dots, I'll leave a link in the description as always, but please, awesome, awesome Aussie Pokemon Go content right here. Gotta catch more. I'm running a brand new team that Zoe actually suggested because... Spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not... I won't screen peek. I won't. Okay, I don't okay. know what you've got. I don't know. Okay, I'm just, I'm just doing it. I trust you, pretty much. <laughs> oh, a dugong. Oh, hello. Senora Whizcash. How are we? Yeah, I feel like this might not be very effective since... Oh, did we set the moves? Water and water? Or? Nah, nah. Nah, just put them in. Nah. They're probably not even the right CP range either. <laughs> oh, if you, oh, if you haven't powered them up yet either. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I was okay. like, this shouldn't be doing this much damage. I'm like, I, this shouldn't be yeah. this strong. Yeah, that would probably explain it. Yeah. Yeah. Quick, quick game's a good game. That's right. <laughs> yeah. We've got 15 of these. You don't have to, to do. win 15. It's just do 15. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna be sick. I'm gonna try yeah, to stop that. Your your switch cash is 500 CP. I'm gonna say that's probably part of the issue. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> gonna block. I have two blocks. I may as well use them. Smart choice. Watery boys incoming. Oh, oh, no. I'm gonna save a shield for my next very, very low CP Pokemon <laughs> that I need at the end. Oh, okay, this one. Let's go. Grassy oh, boy. Cha -cha. What is he doing? What have I got? Oh, can you see my animation of my fiance? That's the screen. No, bit. no. Should I block? Oh, oh I don't know if I should. <gasps> oh, I just learned something yes. very important yes. that grass Pokemon can be frozen. They're dumb. Big rip. <laughs> yeah, like little icy popsicles. Good practice round. <laughs> yes. How those things are. <laughs> yes. Good job. Good job, team. Yes. Quest complete. Yeah. Part of quest complete. So that is one of one. I will be working through fourteen more of those as I, I progress throughout. But thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you. Does it get matter? out there? Yeah. yeah. We're having fun anyway. Egg time, and the first one is hatching. These are our seven-kilometer friend eggs. Ah. Oh! A normal non-Galarian Darumaraka. Two stars, oh, from United States. Where is this one from? Ta-da! Zigzagoon, normal variety. I'm hoping for a good quality three-star Zigzagoon. Two stars again from San Diego, California. Ah, another normal non-Galarian Darumaraka. This one is from, oh, from England. Three stars, thank you. Keep them coming, keep them coming. But uh oh, okay, a stun fisk. Nice, what's the IVs on this little baby? Oh, two stars again. Here we go, next egg. Oh, a normal stun fist. Now, I have actually hatched three of these already so far since this new event has started, but they're disappearing 
out of my Pokemon. Has anybody got any other disappearing stun fist? Another one. Non-Galarian variety. Let's appraise this one. Oh, from Manila in the Philippines. A three-star. Lovely. Give me that that ice. Oh, one oh, Galarian Meowth. Lovely. Cool. Oh, please be good. Oh, not bad. Three stars. That's about a 89 on the IVs from Switzerland. Thank you very much, my Swiss friend friend. Back home now, Pokey Peeps, and you know what? This throwback champion challenge is taking quite a bit more of a time investment to play than the previous quicker, simpler, week-long throwback challenges. So I'm going to take my time to get through the 15 battles and work through the rest of the task steps and probably make a part two of these episodes. How am I going to do the rest of the battles? I'm going to reach out to my friends list and say, hey guys, do you want to PvP me? If you don't have very many friends that want to play PvP with you on your list, you can always go to the Go League battle and do the current one is Ultra League battles and just battle people all across the world. I did hatch in the park, however, a IV89 Meowth and I'm super super keen to get that Berserker and share that with you. So we're going to evolve this little bubby right now. So this bearded cat, super cute. Here we go, evolving. Want to help me puppy? One, two, three, boop. Yes. <laughs> He's like, I will help you by licking your face. Thanks doggy. Thank you. <laughs> Sending it all the way up. And this is gonna be a Pokedex entry for me. There he is! Oh my goodness. <laughs> you are very excited about my new Pokedex entry, puppy dog. All right, so Berserker, he is cool. He looks like a Viking type of warrior. He's got, he's, he, but he's chilled out. He's a Viking warrior that's just taking a break, having a bit of a full relax. Of full of mead, yes, a little, Pussycat Viking Warrior full of mead. I love it. Look at that. And he's got a curly tail. How cute. Oh, what's his animation? Rah! There we go. What a little champion Pokemon. Just a little recap. I didn't get any sneaky four stars today, but I did get this super cute little flippy fish worm, my shiny golden barbotch. And of course, I traded Zoe Two Dots for Steve. So you can actually see that in Zoe's video because I wasn't filming then, but Zoe and I did a special trade. Steve cost me 80,000 Stardust, which is the most I have ever spent on a trade ever. What do you guys think I should evolve it to? Let me know in the comments below which way I should go. That is it for my part one of the Galarian throwback champion challenge episode. You'll need to tune into part two to see the rest of how my throwback challenge goes. Please, if you have enjoyed this episode, like, subscribe and share and I will catch you on the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.